my lover did meet. There we sat a curtain, my love dropped off to sleep. I had a bottle of burglar's wine, which my true love did not know. And there I poisoned that dear little girl down under the banks below. I stabbed her with a dagger, which was a bloody knife. I threw her in the river, which was a dreadful sight. My father often told me that money would set me free if I would murder that dear little girl whose name was Rose Connolly. How often she had told me she loved me as she loved her life. How often I had told her I'd make her my lawful wife. When it was the devil's temptation that soon entangled me which made me murder my darling down under the ivy tree. My father sits in his cabin door with tears all in his eyes. Look up at his own dear son upon the scaffold high. My race is run beneath the sun, the devil calls to me. For I have murdered the girl I love whose name is Rose Connolly. My race is run, I beneath the sun, the devil waits for me. For I have murdered that girl I love, whose name is Rose Connolly. Lauren, you did you did yourself proud. You did yourself proud, Lauren. You started off with a with a hit. Terrific. Great song. Terrific. All right, Julie. Julie, you are up. Julie Geller. Let me just uh, mute everybody and unmute. Uh, Julie, give me one second. I'm doing the best I can here. Where is Julie? Julie, why don't you unmute yourself? Oh, there you are. I can find you. There you go. Thanks, Lauren. That's such a great way set. to start off. Um, I'm Julie. I'm from Denver, but currently residing in Renana, Israel, near Janet. And um, I'm a singer songwriter and uh, an artist coach. And I'm going to share a song that I wrote called There Is Enough. There is enough love to go around. There is enough hope to power this town. There is enough time to be here now. There is enough time. So be here now. Oh, 
enough praise we all can succeed there is enough faith to touch the mystery and there are enough ways to live a life that's good there are enough ways so live a life that's good oh oh there is enough and sometimes i can't let go It's me or you, but that is not true. No, that is not true. So if you have enough food, give thanks every day. If you have enough things, don't let them lead your way. If you're wanting more love, give more of it away. If you want more love, give your love away. Because there is enough. There is enough, there is enough. Lovely, very lovely song. Yeah. Great song. Beautiful. That was your original. That was great. This is terrific. I mean, two people in, I'm loving it. I'm loving it already. <laughs> terrific. You know, I, there is no way I would ever have gotten to hear those songs and meet these two people in the non-virtual world. It just wouldn't happen. So I'm thrilled. <laughs> two people in, I'm thrilled. Now it's going to go downhill because we're bringing Bob Kramer on, but, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. No, that's all right. Only Bob, you, you are get up. away with that, Art. Bob, prove them, prove them I'm wrong. And now we go downhill, way down. Bob, you have to unmute yourself here in a second. Where is, where, unmute, unmute yourself. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now for the low end of the performance. Uh, I am too from Colorado. And uh, actually, uh, my wife uh, lived in Israel for a year and went to college. So she speaks fluent Hebrew. And uh, we've been there many times. So we have the advantage of being able to speak Hebrew and um, all that good stuff. Um, we are uh, members of our community here in uh, Cape Ann and our Jewish community, and uh, which is uh, pretty big and fun and all that good stuff. Anyway, this is uh, this is an older song about the railroad and the people that laid the railroad and. Um, the foremen of uh, a lot of those crews were called the walking boss. And the walking boss, of course, would walk around and make sure everybody is doing their job. A lot of those early crews, of course, were made up of uh, African Americans and Asians and, and other folks. And uh, it was a hard job. And um, I'm sure you've heard about some of them were actually convicts and chained together and chain gangs and all the good stuff. But anyway, it's a song called Walking Boss. I don't 
belong to you. I belong. I can get along. I can get along with that steel driving crew for a job. That's for a job. For a job. He said, son, what can you do? Can line up track. I can pull a jack. Pull a jack. I can pick and shovel to walking boss. Walking boss. You're the boss. But I don't belong to you. Work one day, one hard day, draw no pay, go the shanty to walking boss, you're the boss, you're the boss, but I don't belong to you, I belong, I can get along, I can get along. With that steel driving crew. Walking boss. But I don't belong to you. I belong. I get along. I get along with that steel driving crew. Very nice. Very Hope nice. that brought everybody down. <laughs> yeah, that was terrific. We love it. We love it. Um, let me let me just say again, um, the more people have come in, I want to make sure that I have people, especially on the sort of the Israeli side of the thing here. Um, uh, let me just tell you who I have. And if you've joined and you're performing, uh, let me know. But it's going to be Libby's going to be next. Then Debbie, Debbie, then yeah. then Steve, then Myra, then Harold, then Jan, and then I don't know who's showing up after that, but if you're performing, let me know. Put it in the chat if you want, and I'll just add it to the list. And on the on on the other side, Bob just went, and then a couple of more, you know, after a couple more go, it'll be Texas Dave, then Jay, then Rick, then John, Ann, and Mark, and I'll read it again as we move along. So anyway, and also, I think the easiest way to do this, I can mute everybody, but it was, when it's your turn, unmute yourself. That'll be the best way to do it, I think. So having said all that, I've never managed something this large. And I'm glad that Neil's helping me. Um, we're going to, next will be Libby. And then, so I'm going to mute everybody. And Libby, you unmute yourself and take it away. All right, I'm taking it away. Okay, I'm, unmute yourself again. You, you unmute yourself again. Libby, unmute yourself. Unmute? Yes, good, good. You're okay. Good. Okay. All right, so, hi, everybody. I'm Libby, and even though I'm playing as one of the Israelis, Boch Hashem, I recently moved away from Tel Aviv to Northampton to be with my daughter, my son-in-law, and my grandkids in this time of, of who knows what the fuck. So... This song is very, very close to my heart, and um, especially in these times. It's a song I sing to my friends when we get together and they ask me to sing. So here it is. It's a, actually, it's a few songs, but this is 
my most meaningful. So I hope you enjoy. And if it's too loud or too something, please stop me, Art, so that I can fix the techno side of this. Thank you. Hello? Ready? Mm -hmm. May God bless and keep you always. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. May you build the ladder to the stars and climb on every rung. And may you stay forever young. Forever young. Forever young. May you stay. Forever young. May you grow up to be courageous. May you grow up to be true. May you always know the truth and see the light surrounding you. May you always be courageous. Stand up straight and stand up strong. And may you stay. Oh, forever young. Forever young. May your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May we all have a strong foundation as the winds of change shift. May your heart always be joyful. May your song always be sung and may you stay. Oh, forever young. Oh, yeah. Forever young. Forever young. Oh, please stay. Forever young. Oh, 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 oh. Please help each other. Please love each other. Please take care of each other. Please stay strong in all this crap. Let your music sing for you. Let your music strengthen you, and may you stay, may you stay, may you stay forever young, forever young. Everybody, can you sing with me? Forever young, forever young. Please, for me, please stay. Whoa, 
please stay forever young. Yay, Libby! Thanks, Libby. Hey, Libby. Go so good to hear you. Love you. Miss you. Miss you too, lady. And you, I you, miss you. everybody. <laughs> oh, you jammed with everybody just now, Libby. So thank you. Uh, <laughs> Terrific. Well, Terrific. Okay, so I hope I passed the audition. Either we'll ask you back. Don't worry. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. All right, Debbie, you are up. I'm going to mute everybody and you just unmute yourself after I do that. Debbie, unmute yourself. Okay. Here you go. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, you can hear me now. Yeah. Good. Um, introduce myself. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, yeah. First of all, uh, Libby, yeah, we miss you so much. <laughs> um, I'm part of the folk community uh, yeah, um, I, for, I don't know, 30 years and more. And uh, but I'm more of a classical singer, really. Um, I'm a, a classical alto married to a Polish tenor. And uh, I'll give you something that's a little bit more peaceful. Uh, oh, a li no, a little bit quieter than Libby. <laughs> Performing, I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. 
yeah, you better put him down quick. I got him. I got him. He's on the list. I got him. By the way, if there's any, I'm gonna. I'm going to go over the list on the sort of on the Israeli side again. If there's anybody on this list who's later on that needs to be pushed up because they have to leave early or something, let me know. But right now, um, I've got Steve Andrews, I've got Myra, I've got Harold, I've got Jan, I've got Cynthia, I've got Stuart. There's probably some other people, but if anybody needs to move up, let me know. Just send me a chat or something like that. Okay, we're going to move on to, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I could say great things about a, a lot of people. I'm not going to do it because it's going to get boring. But you're in for a treat with Texas Dave Hardwick. I'm just going to leave it at that. He, he's next. You'll all enjoy him. Let me mute everybody. Dave, you can unmute yourself after I do, and then we'll be all set. Okay, Dave. Just Thanks for the kind words, Art. Um, okay. So I had a request before this started. Um, for one cover, I'm a songwriter, but I will do this cover um, that you may have heard before. Uh, it was one of the biggest hits of the 1950s by a guy named Marty Robbins. It goes like this. <laughs> I see the white buffalo smoke from the rifle. I 
Excellent. Yep, I'm used to that. It was excellent. I tell you. Terrific. Terrific. All right. Steve Andrews. Hey, Steve. Hi, everyone. Um, okay. Well, some of you have met me before the Jerusalem Folk Evening. But um, so uh, anyway, very briefly, I'm a singer, songwriter, and author, all sorts of stuff. This is an album of mine, which you can find on Bandcamp, and it's also on Spotify. And I'm going to do a song which as those of you who have met me before will already know, called Butterfly in My Beard. And when I say make a butterfly, you make a... Oh, there we are. Okay. Harold knows that. Um, yeah, okay. Some of you know how to make butterflies. You make butterflies like this. And it's based on uh, something which really happened. I was once in in the South Wales Echo, because I'm originally from Wales, I'm from Cardiff, but I've been living in Portugal for five years, and they called me a bug man. It says, special world of insects for Steve, catch the bug. Bug man Steve Andrews loves coming eye to eye with the insect world. And in the second verse of this song, I, I sing, they, they call me the bug man on the news. So that's what that's about. So I'll get on with the song. And unfortunately, I've got to leave you after that because I have to go to a music webinar that I'm booked in for. But anyway, it's been lovely to be here. And uh, Art, if you're holding another of these, I'll be back. Anyway, here's the song, Butterfly in My Beard. I had a butterfly in my beard, oh yeah. Butterfly in my beard, oh yeah. I had a butterfly in my beard. It looked pretty strange, it looked pretty weird. I had a butterfly in my beard, oh yeah. They called me the bug man on the news one time. They called me the bug man on the news one time. They called me the bug man on the news. A hissing cockroach on my head got plenty of views. They called me the bug man on the news one time. Now this is the verse we want to make butterflies in. Thanks, you, Neil. I can see you making a butterfly there. All right, come on. Make a butterfly fly with me. Say yeah. And you can say yeah as well. Say yeah. Oh, make a butterfly fly with me. Say yeah. Come on, say yeah. Oh, make a butterfly fly with me. Go anywhere and be really free. Make a butterfly and fly with me, say yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, Steve. Uh, I've got to leave you now. All right, Thank take it easy. Thank Thanks you. for joining. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again. Thank I you. want to do more of these, and you'll be on the invite list, I guarantee it. Okay, guarantee brilliant. It. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, bye, everyone. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Myra, your yeah. turn. I, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but what you did last Sunday was <laughs> off the charts. I, I, no pressure. I just want to tell you that. Well, well, I, I, I'm taking you up on your request. Um, first, I'll introduce myself. My name is Myra Bennett. I live in the south of Israel in a town called Meitar, a very small town, and it's not too far from Beersheba. I came on Aliyah just over 30 years ago, and I have a lovely family here who have all been born and grown up here in Israel. Um, I started singing folk um, when I was uh, in second grade, and I've uh, since then 
added lots of other genres to my repertoire and I sing in a jazz ensemble and I've sung musicals for about 30 years and uh, tonight I'm going to do or this afternoon for those of you in North America I'm going to do a request from art um, which is a number not a folk tune it's a number from a musical and it's very light and I think we all need some light entertainment these days so here goes it's from Guys and Dolls. Some of you may recognize it. Just uh, have a little bit of a playback here. Okay. Here's my medical book. It says here, the average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration, may react with psychosomatic symptoms difficult to endure affecting the upper respiratory tract in other words just from waiting around for that plain little band of gold a Pison can develop a cold you can spray her wherever you figure the strap to cock I like. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. If she's tired of getting the fish eye from the hotel clerk, a pison can develop a cold. It says here, the female remaining single, just in the legal sense shows a neurotic tendency see note chronic organic syndromes toxic or hypertense involving the eyes the ears the nose and the throat in other words just from worrying whether the wedding is on or off a person can develop a cough you can feed her all day with the vitamin A and the promo fizz, but the medicine never gets anywhere near where the trouble is. If she's getting a kind of a name for herself and the name ain't his, a person can develop a cough. And furthermore, just from stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding trip, a person can develop la grip when they get on the train for Niagara she can hear church bells chime the compartment is air conditioned and the mood sublime then they get off at Saratoga for the 14th time a Pison can develop la grip la grip La post nasal drip with the wheezes and the sneezes and the sinus, it's really a pip from the lack of community property and a feeling she's gotten to all a person can develop a bad, bad cut. Oh, that was that was Amazing. Yeah, I love it. Sorry love for the repeat for those of you in Israel. I loved it oh, Sunday. I love it. I love that last week and I love it today. It's terrific. terrific. I agree. I agree. Ex absolutely excellent. Excellent. Okay, Jay Cunningham. Jay runs some open mics here. Great, terrific performer. Open mic expert. You're, I'm going to mute people, Jay, and you have to mute yourself and do your thing. There he is. Okay. All set, Jay. Uh-oh. Can't hear you, Jay. Where's Jay? Can't hear you, Jay. Jay, let me let me let me move on to, to the next one and I'll come back to you, okay? 
Rick, you want to go on? Rick, was Rick there? Where's Rick? There he is. Was. Rick, you want to mute? There you go. Perfect. Rick, yeah, you're all set. Right. Yeah, I, I just got to plug this guitar in. Hold on. Sure. Has Rick joined you at Comedy Hall? Uh, I, I think Rick. I think Rick is in Symphony Hall in Boston. Oh, okay. Yes. It sounds I like the Jay is working out. though. It sounds okay. like Jay is working. You want to do Jay? Okay, Jay. Are you all? Can you say something, Jay. I'm. I'm good. Okay. Well, go ahead, Jay. Do your thing. We'll come back to Rick. You're all okay. set, Jay. All I got to do is put on my original sound. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this song was written by Je Jesse Colin Young. And it's an answer to Libby's song that she did. It goes right along with it. It's called um, Get Together. Right now. Oh, 
Nice. Good choice. Nice choice, Jay. Thank you. Very nice, Jay. I Very love that nice. one. Yep. Yep. Harold. Harold, you are next. Let me mute people and you unmute yourself and we'll be all set. Did you forget me? All right. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I, I'm doing two and one, two and one. I didn't forget okay. you. That's okay. what, yeah. Yeah. I would never forget you, Rick. I, I couldn't forget you if I tried. Hang on with Harold, just unmute yourself, you'll be ready to go. Where's Harold? Cut unmute. All right. I'm on. Oh, wait a minute. Unmute yourself again. All right. I Perfect. Did. By the way, I want to make sure people do those little thumbnails. I, I, I don't want to go by this day to go by and not learn anything about the people that we're listening to. So don't forget those little thumbnails. Um, I'm Harold and Harold Jacobs. Uh, I'm sometimes called Harmonica Harold Jacobs, but I don't know why. <laughs> I've been living in Tel Aviv for quite a long time. I came to Israel in 1967, the son of Holocaust survivors, born in Poland, lived in New York uh, until I got to the age of 20, and then I decided to volunteer during the Six-Day War and came to Israel, farmed the Negev, met a girl in Tel Aviv, and been here ever since. I run a few folk festivals in Israel um, and some... You know, it's fun. And so I don't do it now because nobody's doing stuff like that. So here I am. I was going to do a blues. going to do this blues. Actually, I'm not going to play the harmonica either. I was, um, I was once invited to do uh, to a singer song writer evening in honor of a late, the late great uh, Ray Scudero, who was the, uh, the I would say, um, the best uh, songwriter in Israel. He passed away. And in his memory we did we were uh, at kibbutz sora they did an evening in his memory and they invited singer songwriters and when i was 16 years old i wrote a song so i am a singer songwriter i don't know i wrote a, i can't remember the other songs that i wrote but i do remember this one i hope and it actually was based on my childhood um memories living in Philadelphia when we came to the United States. We got off the boat and they put us in this place in Philadelphia. And I, it was a hot summer in Philadelphia. And I was amazed to see the children playing in the streets and they opened up the fire hydrant. And the song is about that. It goes like this. Some people have it there. Some people have it swell. We are not as lucky, we laugh just as well. Our backyard's full of clotheslines, the sky is seldom seen. Children are playing on a ground that's never green. Some people have it better. Some people have it swell, we are not as lucky, we laugh just as well. Cars, they go by quickly, as fast as they can go. We sit out on our doorsteps, making castles in the snow. Some people have it better, 
have it better. Some people have it swell, have it swell, but we are not as lucky. We have just as well. Some kids play swimming pools, smashing with their feet. When the hydrants open, we go swimming in the street. Some people have it better, have it better. Some people have it swell, have it swell. But we are not as lucky. We laugh just as well. May not have much money. We work and we have fun. I'm living on together and laughing in the sun. Some people have it better, have it better. Some people have it swell, have it swell. But we are not as lucky. We laugh just as well. That's the one you wrote? Write That's 400 more. Come on. That's the only one I wrote. I mean, the others I forgot. You got, you got, you got hundreds. Keep at it. Keep at it, Harold. Keep going. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's encouragement. Thank you. Fire hydrants being open in the summer in New York, right? Yes, of course. It's Memories. All right. Jan, you are up. And then, uh, then Rick will be going. So let me uh, mute people. Jan, unmute yourself, and you'll be ready to go. OK. So hello, everybody. Um, my name is Jan Saides. I'm in Austin, Texas. Um, I had a childhood wish to go to Israel and answer to Roberta's question earlier. Um, and then in 2015, I found out about the Jacob's Ladder Festival. And so my wish changed a little bit from I want to go to Israel to I want to go to Israel and go to the Jacob's Ladder Festival and play if at all possible. So we booked a bunch of shows and um, in 2016 in May we came and visited and played in a bunch of places and met um, Philippa and Janet and about a gazillion other people it's funny because all the people at the Jacob's Ladder Festival, I kept looking around and thinking, I should know somebody here because people who like folk, folk music tend to look similar. <laughs> but in any case, um, this I've been, during the um, quarantine, I've been revisiting some of my old tunes that, for reasons I can't really explain, fell by the wayside. And I found this. and. It, just seems so appropriate to my god there's so much needs to be done <laughs> A swollen sky of bloody red, a satin sheath, a satin pillow for your head. The night is cold, just like this aimless life you've led. When you look back. What will you find? A non-event or extra 
extraordinary time Most people cling To the safe side of the street Imprisoning The passions of those rambling feet That point with pride to their tamed reality, but where will they hide from their own scrutiny? When you look back, what will you find? False pretense. Extraordinary time You want to look good, don't you? No matter what the cost But they'll come back to haunt you Those opportunities you've lost Hungry, you didn't feed low you didn't lift, the grief you didn't comfort, and the children you didn't teach. You are awake, you watch the clouds go rolling by, perhaps you wait for fiery writing in the sky, what will it take? To make you realize you are the darkness, you are the light. When you look back, what will you find? Good intentions or extraordinary? Every times when you look back, what will you find? Sad regrets or extraordinary times? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Loved it. Okay, Rick, I told you I wouldn't forget you. Okay. So let, let me uh let me mute people and you can unmute yourself. There we go. All right. Okay. My name is Rick Page. I live about a mile from the New Hampshire borders, northern Massachusetts. And I'm retired for five years. And I live music. I live it. I, pl I play four to, four to five Zoom sessions a day. I have live streaming things. I just love it, love it, love it. Uh, I'm going to play an original song right now. It's about the downside of social media. It's on my current CD, which is called Tales from the Big C, like cancer, because I'm a survivor. And this is called uh, I Am Just, I'm Just Dreaming. Okay, here we go. to say to you it's from a dream a nightmare 
It was all so real, seemed true, and things were said unfair. I said it, you heard it, he said it, she spread it, we posted, and they shared it. I said it, you heard it, he said it, she spread it, we posted, and they shared it. Read it on the web, it must be true. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter too, do, do. Today's way of sharing news and talking to about each other. I said it, you heard it, he said it, she spread it, we posted, and they shared it. I said it, you heard it, he said it, she spread it, we posted, and they shared it. Read it on the web, it must be true Out of context, words can sway With our filter on what we say Comments began to tag along with each new post and sharing. Group think mob mentality and hurtful words from the blurting. I said it, you heard it, he stopped it, she blocked it, unfriend delete my account. I said it, you heard it, he stopped it, she blocked it, unfriend delete my account. Please be a dream, I'm begging you I said it, you heard it, he stopped it, she blocked it Unfriend, delete my account Please be a dream, I'm begging you Out of context Words can sway with our filter on what we see. I'm just dreaming. Just dreaming Don't make me weep Terrific, Rick. All right, Rick. Thank you. Beautiful. Fabulous. You do four or five. Hey, you do Rick, four you need five to Zoom more time to practice. practice. I'd like to know where they are. <laughs> I do one or two, but I'd like to know where some of these others are. I'll chat with you at some point. <laughs> I'll let you know, Snake. <laughs> let, let, let's, um, before we move on, I, on the Israeli side of the fence, I only have Cynthia and Stuart left. Who? Who have I missed? Who who has joined that wants to perform that I don't have? Is there anybody else that I'm missing? Okay, if there isn't, then what? I think I'm because we still have a bunch of people uh, here. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Shy joined on. Shy joined on his phone. He maybe he wants to do something. Then he gets home. He's probably walking. Okay. Maybe well. Round. But Shy also participates. So. Okay. Well, when, when, when he's here, or, then we'll, we'll do that. But I also want, because it's, I want to get, I want my Israeli friends to hear some of the people here that you've never met, because they're, they're also terrific. And so I think, I, I think I'm going to start alternating a little bit now. So 
Cynthia, you're next. Then I'm going to move to John, then Stuart, then Ann. Okay? So, Cynthia, you're up now, and I will mute everybody. You unmute yourself, and we'll be ready to go. Okay. Lisa, I'm, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm really nervous. Everybody's so good. I started yeah. getting very intimidated. And I was already chatting with two people. I said, I think I'm going to chicken out. And I already got two people say, nope, no, ch no chickening out. You cannot chicken out. You've already committed. You're, you're doing this. And I said, but my voice is not behaving today. So, <laughs> so um, I'm Cynthia. I live in the north of Israel, 10 minutes south of Haifa, around Haifa. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm just starting to learn to, well, I'm learning to play the ukulele. So, um, and, this, and so, um, that's pretty, I'm a mother. And, and um, I'm a quilter, creator, artist, and and ukulele player. <laughs> so bear with me. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Someone told me long ago, there's a calm before the storm. I know. It's been coming for some time When it's over, so they say It'll rain a sunny day I know, shining down like water I wanna know, have you ever seen to John. John Loretz is going to go next. Let me, let me mute people and John will unmute himself. All right. Well, this has been great. This has been a lot of fun. Art, this was a brilliant idea. Thank, thanks for doing it. Okay. Uh, I'm John Loretz. I, I live in Burlington, Massachusetts with uh, my wife, Ann Sandstrom, who's going to be coming up after me. And uh, I, uh, I retired a couple of years ago from a group called International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War. I was their program director for a little short of 20 years. And uh, that's what I've been. I've been like an anti-nuclear environmental campaigner for most of my life. And retired means that I just do a lot of the same work all week long, only they don't pay me for it and I get to do it on my own time. 
and not travel answers. <laughs> So, uh, enough about me. I'm gonna do a Bruce Springsteen song called The Ghost of Tom Joad. Men walking along the railroad tracks Going someplace and there's no going back Highway patrols, choppers coming up over the ridge Hot soup on a campfire under the bridge Shelter lines stretching around the corner Welcome to the New World Order People sleeping in their cars in the southwest no home, no job, no peace, no rest. And the highway is alive tonight. Nobody's kidding nobody about where it goes. I'm sitting down here in the campfire light. Searching for the ghost of Tom Joad. He pulls a prayer book out of his sleeping bag. Preacher lights up a bud and he takes a drag Waiting for when the last shall be first and the first shall be last In a cardboard box neath the underpass You got a one-way ticket to the promised land You got a hole in your belly and a gun in your hand Sleeping on a pillow of solid rock Bathing in the city aqueduct And the highway is alive tonight Where it's headed everybody knows I'm sitting down here in the campfire light Waiting on the ghost of Tom Joe a cop beating a guy, wherever a hungry newborn baby cries, where there's a fight against the blood and hatred in the air, look for me mom and I'll be there, where there's somebody fighting for a place to stand, or a decent job or a helping hand, wherever somebody's struggling to be free. Look in their eyes, Mom, and you'll see me. And the highway is alive tonight. Nobody's kidding nobody about where it goes. I'm sitting down here in the campfire light with the ghost of old Tom Joe. Excellent, excellent. That was terrific. Thank you. Really delightful. Thank you. And you made Philippa very happy. I did? Yes. I'm well, looking that's at good. Yeah. That yeah. makes my day. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh great. Great stuff. Great stuff. Shy liked you as well. Welcome, Shy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on to Stuart Marcus, who reminds me that he's not in Israel. He's uh, on Long Island, but I saw him at the Jerusalem Open Mic the other, last weekend. Oh, he was terrific, and if I see him at the Jerusalem Open Mic, that's enough for me. So, Stuart, you are on, and uh, 
Even if even though you're from Long Island, you're still on, so I'll mute everybody and you can unmute yourself and show show people what you got. Okay. Well yes, I'm from Long Island and I'm part of a trio called Gathering Time. And uh we just released an album called Old Friends. It's a bunch of covers of some of our favorite 60s folk rock. In fact, uh, somebody played Get Together, originally by the Youngbloods, a little while ago. We, that's on this album, and we released it early as an advanced single, and it was the number one song on the folk DJ chart for July. So, uh, so it did pretty good. I, um, we had gotten invited to play the, uh, the Jacob's Ladder Festival back in 2015. But we couldn't line up enough paid work to, uh, to, 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 to make the trip without taking a huge loss. I was able to set up enough work to do a small solo tour. And that's where I met uh, Philippa and uh, Lauren. And uh, from there I've gotten to know a whole lot of other people. So this is one that I wrote that's uh, on our, our last album. It's called The Highest Walls Guard the Greatest Treasure. <laughs> Behind the castle walls of brick and stone A treasure lies known but to you alone Past a creaky stair and a wooden door A velvet chair and a flagstone floor A dragon's lair and an iron hinges groan Thus I press on Inch by measure For the highest walls guard the greatest treasure With every step I hear the cautious word Only a fool pursues the singing sword It's guarded by the darkest night Who slain her foe in every fight You find the light is all you're heading toward But the greatest of risks Bring the greatest pleasure For the highest walls guard the greatest treasure are set on high, the parapets abrade the sky, a portcullis and a cliff that overlooks the sea, defend a heart that won't be taken easily. I've learned and often heard it said Fools rush in where angels fear to tread And though it's true that gold and jewels Are coveted by thieves and fools My aim is to a higher purpose led And thus I press on Inch by measure For the highest walls guard the greatest treasure Highest walls guard the greatest treasure. The highest walls guard the greatest treasure. The highest walls guard the greatest treasure. Nice, nice job, Stuart. Excellent. 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 Good job, Stuart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So listen, I'm gonna. I, I'm going. I sent a note to Shy to see if he's performing or not, but he'll get back to me. But I want to catch up a little bit, so I'm gonna do two or three uh, from the U.S. side to uh, let you. I want to make sure you hear them as well, and then we'll go back up to the top if Shy doesn't want to perform. Back to Lauren. So uh, the next three will be um, Ann, Mark Evans, and Eddie D, and then we'll go back to Lauren. 
So let me uh, let me uh, mute everybody, and Anne, you can unmute yourself and be ready to go. Okay. My name is Anne Sandstrom. I'm a singer-songwriter, and uh, the song I'm going to do came about uh, after I read a book that John wrote the foreword for about a woman and her mother who survived Hiroshima, and then it expanded beyond that. This is called What For. The ovens throw an awful heat, the worst the world has known. They pry the gold right from your teeth before they burn your bones. When distance and difference turn to hate, horror incinerates in the name of state. Your skin strips tissue thin beneath the hot black rain. You fall and you crawl while wishing for innocence again. Runners route the market square, the subways and cafes, the bombers blast flocks innocence from ordinary days. When distance and difference. Very nice, very nice. Terrific, isn't she? Terrific.
Can I just say yeah. something? Yes. Yes, I'm walking Maybe around the streets. That song for this audience. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrific. That was, it was terrific. That was absolutely amazing. There you go. There you go. Marvelous, listen, just, marvelous just, song and performance. Yes, she's terrific. Just just to assure everybody uh, on this side of the here, uh, it's going to be, I mentioned, it's going to be Mark Evans, then Eddie, and then it's going to be Doc Zig, Woody. Well, I'm going to go back. You're on the list. I just want to make, I'm going to start going back and forth a little bit, but it's going to be Eddie, Doc, Zig, Woody, Snake, uh, Ed, Neil, Roberta, and Vic are all on the list. So we'll, we'll get to you. We're doing the, just a lot of people here. So um, Mark Evans is next. Let me just uh, let me just mute everybody. Mark, just let me, Mark, unmute yourself. Are you ready to go? All right. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Mark Bishop Evans, and um, as an introduction, I have been singing since I was five years old. I've been playing the guitar since I was 14 and wrote my first song at 19. Uh, so over 50 years now, I've been writing, considered myself a singer-songwriter. Um, it's never, well, for a t short 10-year period in my uh, 30s I did it as a uh, living and found that that was not equitable and, and so uh, it's always been a, uh, a passion but not a profession so this is a song of mine called uh, My Fantasies Dills and butterflies, dragon clouds and summer skies, autumn trees and cherry pies, fishes in the sea, like Marion and Robin Hood, or ancient rocking chairs of wood.
Beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just harmonizing with you. Okay. <laughs> Terrific. Terrific. We all were, Lori. We all do that. <laughs> um, okay, again, Eddie D is going to be next. Then I'm going to go back to Lauren. And then Zig and Woody will go after that. I'm gonna, I want to get everybody in. I'm doing the best I can, but I want to mix it up a little. So, Eddie, you're up next, and then Lauren. Let me mute everybody. Wait, wait. I got to go and keep cutting wood with the family, and then I'm volunteering at the farm, so I got to say goodbye. Okay, Libby. We'll, so we'll let you know Libby, when we do this again. Libby, how are you doing, Libby? Who is that? Shy, Shy. Shy, where are you? I'm just, just got to my home area. Oh, uh, Shy! Up. Oh, it's love in this room. I'm telling you. Bye, Libby. <laughs> Take care. Bye, Shy. I got it. Oh, Mark, oh. that was beautiful. By the way, that yeah. was really beautiful. Um, I'm so I, I wrote everybody a message, but as long as I'm on the phone, I never said anything about myself. So I'll say it now. I moved to Israel in '79. Came back and forth many, many times. I was actually my my claim to fame and my highest prideful thing and egotistical thing was I was the first rock and roll front woman in the history of Israel and I'm in the history books. I will always rock. I love any music that's got soul. You all got soul people. Happy to see all of you. Happy to meet the new ones. Happy to see my old friends. We're all forever young. See you next time. Stay well, stay good, stay high on the music. Take it easy, Libby. All right. Bye. I don't know how to. Oh, leave. That's how. I'll, I'll have whatever. I'll have whatever she's having. Uh, I'm gonna say bye to everybody. Bye. Oh, yeah, Jay. Yeah. Bye. See you. Enjoy the open mic. We'll see ya. Take it easy. Bye, Jay. Eddie. Eddie, you're up. Let me mute people. Just unmute yourself, Eddie. You're ready to go. Okay. Hi, folks. My name is Eddie D. It's D E E, and that's the real name. Uh, I uh, spent most of my time uh, about 15 miles north of Boston, but I've traveled all over the United States, and I've been to my ancestral castle in Ireland three times. Um, um, one of the folk singers I love and Art loves is Bill Staines, so uh, I picked a, a Bill Staines song. You may be familiar with it uh, because Peter, Paul, and Mary recorded it. Um, I am going to do the version with their additional words. And um, it's in the key of G. I'm playing a uh, five string banjo uh, using you know three finger picking style with my own natural nails. <laughs> so let's give this a try here. I think I said it's in the key of G if you want to play along. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got down. Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with the big to do. The old cow just goes moo. The dogs and the cats, they take up the middle where the honeybee hums. Cricket fiddles and the donkey prays, the pony neighs, old diode howls. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands and paws or anything they got down. I'm expecting that you can pick up that chorus. Listen to the top where the little bird's singing on the melodies with the high notes ringing and the hoot all the hollers over everything. Jay Bird disagrees. Singing in the nighttime, singing in the day. The little duck quacks, then he's on his way. Possum ain't got much to say. The porcupine talks to himself. Here it comes. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands and paws or anything they got now it's 
It's a simple song of living sung everywhere by the ox and the fox, the grizzly bear, the grumpy alligator and the hawk above, sly raccoon and the turtle dove. Everybody here is a part of the plan. We all get to play in the great river band. From the eagle in the sky to the whale in the sea, it's all one symphony. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low, some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, applause for anything they got now. One more time. All God's critters got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher, some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands, applause for anything they got now. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Love that tune. Love that tune. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's see. I gotta keep track of everything here. Um, Lauren, you are up, and then I'm gonna jump back to Zig, Woody, and Snake, and then after that will be Debbie. We're, we're trying to get everybody in. That's all best I can do. So let me mute people, and uh, Lauren, you'll be up. Just unmute yourself in a second. Okay, so I don't very often sing songs of my own. I have some, but um, I'm going to now. It's um, kind of a lullaby that I wrote, and it's also a protest song at the same time. Um, it, the chorus is in Arabic. And the verses are in English. And just a couple of short words about it. It was, I, it was after, it's about, it's a true story. It followed house demolition of a Bedouin family that I know and polit land rights issues. And I had to take it to a better place and I wrote a lullaby. So it's called, and the chorus is Tnam Yala Tnam, which is basically Hashabai in colloquial spoken Arabic. Tnam Yala Tnam, so you can do that. One sec. Okay. Sleep, my child, on the tides of night. Tnam Yala Tnam. Catch your dreams and hold them tight. Tnam, yalla, tnam. 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 With these two hands, a house I'll build. Tnam. Yala tnam, with fields around sown and tilled. Tnam, yala tnam, tnam, yala tnam, tnam, yala tnam, tnam, yala tnam, tnam, yala tnam. Stone on stone, the walls will rise. Tnam. Yala Tnam, beneath the stormy desert skies. Tnam, Yala Tnam, Tnam, Yala Tnam, Tnam, Yala Tnam, Tnam, Yala Tnam, Tnam, Yala Tnam. In the yard we'll plant a tree. Tnam, Yala Tanam, a plum for you and one for me. Tanam, Yala Tanam, Tanam, Yala Tanam, Tanam, Yala Tanam, Tanam, Yala Tanam, Tanam, Yala Tanam. Hush, my baby, don't you cry. Tanam, Yala Tanam. I'll build you a house by and by. Tanam, yala tanam. Tanam, yala tanam. Tanam, yala tanam. Yala tanam. Beautiful. 
very nice. I work in ghetto. I work in the ghetto community, ghetto in schools. So wow. very nice. Very up very close. Nice. Yeah. That was beautiful, Lauren. You should Absolutely. sing more of your own song. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I agree. We all agree. <laughs> all right. You. We're going to move on to uh, Zig, then Woody, then Snake, and then we're going to go back to Debbie. So let me mute everybody, and uh, Zig, I hope you're ready to go. Zig, unmute yourself. How's that? Perfect. Am I loud? You're, you're good. You're good. All right. All right. I'm the dog, Zig. Nice to meet all you good folks. Whatever, whatever side you're on. Um, I've been addicted to guitars and country blues since I was a kid. I did an album a few years back, and I thought I would do a song off of it. You won't find it on the internet. It's called Live in the Moment. If you want a copy of it, just get in touch with Art, and I'd be happy to get you one. Um, this song is a song by a guy named Charlie Nickerson. It's a 1930s recording of two songs put together called You May Leave by This Will Bring You Back. And it's pretty whimsical. And I thought I would dedicate it to the people who actually did the album with me because they were such great people. And my wife's sitting here next to me, so I think I'll play it for her. It's called You May Leave, But This Will Bring You Back. Daddy was a jockey, taught me to ride behind. Why you go by that? Got a job and in time. You may leave, but this will bring you back. You walk next door to the peanut stand. You know my gal got stuck on the peanut man. Now you may leave, but this will bring you back. Satisfied, I love my tongue, shake 
Perform? Let me breathe. I just came in. I okay, no, no, no. It won't be right now, but you do want to, I'll put you on the list. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're moving on to Woody Carpinella. Hey, Woody. There you go. There you go. Let me mute everybody, Woody. Pardon me. I just mute. Why don't you just unmute yourself, Woody, and you'll be ready to go. Here's a tune by the Beatles I, uh, that I rearranged come somewhat. Singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings And learn to fly All your life You were only waiting For this moment to arrive Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this freedom to arise. Blackbird fly. Blackbird fly into the light of the dark like night. Thank you. That was beautiful. 
That was some serious <laughs> rearranging. Not that song. <laughs> you had me stumped right until you started singing. The only thing I was pretty sure of was that it wasn't we. Why don't we do it in the road? Otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, John. <laughs> all right, Snake, you are up. Hey, Snake, all right. <laughs> All right, I'm Eric Gulickson, better known as the Snake. I've been called the Snake since I was 19, which was a heck of a long time ago. In, um, I made my first commercial recordings in 1963. In 1968 and 69, I was part of a group called Orpheus. We had three charted albums and two charted singles. Open for folks like uh, Janis Joplin, The Who, Led Zeppelin, Jeff Beck, Cream, played places like Tanglewood in the Berkshires, uh, Central Park in New York, Constitution Hall in D.C. When I left that, I worked for a, um, a company that was a supplier to the underground mining industry, did that for 30 years, worked in 22 different countries, then I reinvented myself and became a high-tech market analyst. Did that for 15 years and retired at age 73 five years ago. Since then, I've been just playing music. And in normal times, I play a lot. In 2019, I, between uh, gigs, recording sessions, radio, TV, and open mics, I did 384 performances in uh, Massachusetts from um, the Pioneer Valley in the west to the Cape in the east, North Shore and South Shore, Southern New Hampshire, all over Rhode Island, and Northeast and Central Connecticut. Obviously now I'm limited pretty much to, uh, to virtuals. And events like this one are outstanding that uh, you'd never get uh, if it weren't for this pandemic. I like to do, I'm not, I don't like songwriting. I've written a few, but I don't enjoy it. What I like to do is take songs written by other folks and rearrange them and make them my own. I in particular do shows, um, standards and show tunes. I also enjoy doing uh, songs that were written by friends. This is one of those. It was written by a fellow from Cambridge, Mass, named Rick Drost. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a masterpiece. It's called Still Point. <laughs> Time out of memory Glimpses of dreams Not yet dared Reborn romance Second chances Past reckoning the future now now is repaired here at the high mark where all waters rise before they start falling Cinnamon ginger 
songs from your grandmother's heart. Easter time, family gathers for dinner. Take your place till they're ready to start. Early this morning, out under the apple tree, falls drops a dapple in sun. To blossoms cerulean, grandfather's blessings begun. It's a still point where you long to stay. But the world turns and it slips away. Gone now the apple tree. Long gone the family raised in the home that they built in this place. You ride to the strains of a loopy calliope, reaching for brass rings. They no longer make, but you're finding apple trees everywhere now. The forest in new fallen snow, gull over beech cliff and. Towers in Tuscany, cradle them, then let them go. In the windless nets of the canyon floor, breathe the sky down in. And again, before each dip of the paddle, each stroke of the pen, as God writes your name in His hand. We're going to go to Debbie, and then we're going to go. Myra's going to close out things, but that's a little. We have a little time for that, so it's going to be Debbie, then Harold, then we're going to jump back to Roberta and Neil. So let me mute people, and Debbie, you can uh, unmute yourself and take it away. Let me just say goodbye. Uh, sorry, I've got to got to run, uh, pick up a friend. Uh, this has been wonderful. Uh, thanks so much for letting me be part of it. This was great. Thank you. We'll see you, Dave. Take it easy. I got to go, too, so I'll say goodbye. See you next time, I hope. Okay, Harold, whatever you like. You're going to be pretty soon. You sure you don't want to hang around for a few minutes? 
Uh, I didn't prepare a song, actually. So. <laughs> okay, up, up to you, up to you. All That's right, fine. whatever. All right, um, let me... I, I, I haven't forgotten her. I haven't forgotten her, don't worry. Um, let me mute people, and uh, Debbie will be on. Hang on one second. Debbie, just unmute yourself, and you're ready to go. Favorite songwriter, singer songwriter, folk song, uh, yeah, folk singer of mine is Tom Paxton. This is one of his. Out would bound upon a ship that sails no ocean. Out would bound, it has no crew but me and you. All along, when just a minute ago, the shore was filled with people, with people that we know. Outward bound, upon a journey without ending, outward bound, uncharted waters beneath our boat, far behind. The green familiar shore is fading into time, and time has left us now. So farewell adieu, so long by a condios. May they find whatever they are looking for. Remember when the wine was better than ever again. We could not ask, we could not ask for more. Outward bound, upon a ship with tattered sail. Outward bound, upon a crooked and lonesome trail. Things we learn, we'll just be satisfied in knowing. And we'll tell it to our kids as a fairy tale. So farewell with you, so long by a condios. May they find whatever they are looking for. Remember when the wine was better than ever again. We could not ask. We could not ask for more. So farewell at you, so long by a condios. May they find whatever they are looking for. Remember when the wine was better than ever again. We could not ask. We could not ask for more. We could not ask. We could not ask for more. Very nice. Good job, Terry. Terrific. That was wonderful. You know, I just found out that Tom Pax is 82 mm. years old. I, I can't believe it's. Uh, that old yep. Uh, but he's a young soul. There you go. There you go. All right, we're gonna bring Ariella on now, and then we're gonna go to ne to Roberta, and then Neil, and then we'll go back. We're doing the best we can. Let me uh, mute everybody. Uh, okay, you're all set. Okay. Um, Snake's uh, song inspired me to do this one. Moon River. Moon River, off to see the world. There's such a lot of world to see. Old oh, dream maker, you heartbreaker. Wherever you're going, I'm going. see the world there's such a lot of world to see we're after the sand rainbows and running round the bend my heart 
like our very friend, Moon River. Finally, we're coming down the home stretch here, folks. It's uh, Roberta Lamb is going to help. It's going to entertain us next. Let me uh, mute people, and Roberta, you can unmute yourself and be ready to go. I think Roberta's here. Yeah, she is. Hi. Can you hear me? The guitar. Yep. Good. Well, shalom to those of you who are out in Israel, and hi Americans, and hi y'all to any Texans that are left. I'm a Texan. Um, but I, I'm brethren. I do Torah study twice a week, so I don't know. I almost did my inappropriate song about divorce that has Yiddish in it, but I thought it would be maybe in bad tastes. So you'll have to check that one out next time. Anyway, <laughs> I'm from Dallas, Texas, and uh, somehow I ended up in New England. And, this, and, you know, there's some stuff in between that I'll leave out. But uh, uh, let's see. Debbie did a Tom Paxton tune, right? Was it Debbie? Yes, that was great. So the song that I'm going to do, the lyrics were written by the one and only Jeff Bartley, who uh, played with Tom Paxton and for many years was the keeper of the Cantab Lounge uh, open mic night. He's an amazing songwriter and finger picker. Anyway, quick story about this song. I heard him play this song one time, and it was so moving, kind of sad. And then I, I'm, I, he's um, mentored me, really, and, and, you know, he gave me a feature at Cantab um, when I wasn't quite ready, but he's always believed in me. Anyway, I, I asked him if I could learn this song, and he sent me the lyrics. And I said, well, Jeff, where's the music? And he said, oh... Uh, I don't have a recording. Write your own tune. <laughs> so I was incredibly humbled. And I wrote this tune to his song. And believe it or not, he loved it. So I guess I can take it on the road. So it's called, it's very sad, it's called Gently Let All of It Go. It goes like this. I keep from so long ago Buried so deep Words left unspoken Wounds that won't heal No heart left unbroken The ghosts all too real And the moment approaches I know 
to somehow let all of it go love was so easy how little i knew i turned yours to wreckage my heart was untrue I'm down here tonight with my shame and my scars Old memories crowd around me And block out the stars I never knew what I had When I held your heart in my hand A stranger in a bar told me you'd marry I didn't say much for the rest of the year I'm still the same fool, still in my own way Still trying to learn Learn how to make love stay I dreamed that I saw you one last time The museum school I think Your hair was still long You looked at me and as brave and as true And for an instant I saw I saw a girl I once knew Love is an anchor Love is a chain, the air that we breathe, a runaway train. A well in the desert, life after death, the bringer of light, the giver of breath. And the moment approaches, I know. To somehow let all of it go. The memories, the scars, the moon and the stars. Slow and steady, I'm all. To sweetly and lovingly, forgivingly and joyfully, gently let all of it go. Thank you guys. Thanks for staying up so late. Thank you. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you. Thank you. Come and visit my music at robertalam.com and uh, there's YouTube and all the rest. And if you want to email me, it's roberta at robertalam.com. It's great to have you guys in the community. Thanks, Art. Thanks for everybody. Thank you, Roberta. All right. The treat of the afternoon. Neil's going to do something for us. I convinced him. All right. Woo! Neil, you are up. I am, huh? Oh, my goodness. Neil. Oh, Neil. oh my goodness. 
All right, well, um, I'm going to do something very brief and short because I have to go pick up a puppy. Um, uh, he'll be very mad at me, but um, uh, this is a very short song. Um, it's a song I wrote many, many years ago. Uh, it's a song really about peace, um, the peace that I think I, a lot of us are looking for. And I hope I can remember how to play it. Um, let me, I haven't held the guitar in like a week. Let me see, let me see. Um, where'd it go? It's called Current Dreams. At the mouth of a stream runs a current It's a current that I know well It's a place that I spend many a good times with friends It's a place that I long and love to long and love to go trickles over the bumpy rock sometime if 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 you listen close enough they even seem to talk to you it seems to flow just like words from a mouth only clean Never blemished The happy singing of the birds Their native prey A footstep is heard And they vanish Crisp drift winds The lovers together a huge campfire with friends of all weather e -da 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 -da. E -da 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 -da. I still love you so far I still love you so far I really love you so All right, Neil. Hi. Um, I'll do a song by one of my favorite songwriters, Gordon Lightfoot. And this is one that uh, my gathering time bandmates and I discovered we all loved, so we decided to put it on the new album. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell Just like an old-time movie I'd a ghost from a wishing well In a castle dark Or a fortress strong With chains upon my feet You know that ghost was me I will never be set free As long as I'm a ghost that you can't see If 
If I could read your mind, love, what a tale your thoughts could tell. Just like a paperback novel, the kind the drugstore sells. When you reach the part where the heartaches come, the hero would be me. But heroes often fail. You won't read that book again because the ending's just too hard to take. I walk away like a movie star who gets burned in a three-way script. Enter number two, a movie queen to play the scene of bringing all the good things out in me. But for now, love, let's be real. Never thought I could act this way And I've got to say that I just don't get it I don't know where we went wrong But the feeling's gone And I just can't get it back If you could read my mind, love what a tale my thoughts could tell Just like an old time movie By the ghost from a wishing well In a castle dark Or a fortress strong With chains upon my feet The story always ends And if you read between the lines You'll know that I'm just trying to understand The feelings that we lack I never thought I could feel this way And I've got to say that I just don't get it I don't know where we went wrong But the feeling's gone And I just can't get it back Very nice job. Beautiful. Lovely, Stuart. Love Gordon Lightfoot, and that was great rendition. Uh, Thank I you. Love the Gordon Lightfoot fan, too. Uh, Thank uh, you. That was gorgeous. Look for us at gathering-time.com. You'll hear the, uh, I think we've got all the, the tracks up for, for listening on the, the website. Well, it was a terrific job, and uh, I'm sure John Lorette appreciates it. I certainly do. We're two very huge Gordon Lightfoot fans. Oh, that's great. Sure. But I must have I was singing thought. along the whole song, singing along with you. Thank you. No, I, was playing, I was playing lead. Yeah. <laughs> we all were singing with you. All right, listen, I'm going to sneak one in here, and then Myra's going to close it out. She asked me to close it out. This has been terrific. I mean, really, I'm not just saying it. You know, I, I, there's a couple of things I maybe changed a little bit, but I'd like to do it again, and we'll, we'll figure out a time and a place and, you know, the best way to do it, and I'll be back to everybody, and everybody will get a – Assuming, it, assuming this worked, everybody will get a video later tonight or tomorrow, uh, and you can enjoy it. So let me just do, uh, with all this Tom Paxton talk, I've got to do a Tom Paxton too. <laughs> so, uh, is Debbie still here? I think she is. Did she leave? No. Oh, she's there. Good, 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 good. Okay, here we go. I'm going to mute everybody because I always forget to do it when I play. Hang on one second. <clears throat>
It's a lesson too late for the learning Made of sand, made of sand In the wake of an eye my soul is turning Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind. You know, that was the last thing on my mind. You got reason the plan B for going this I know this I know for the weeds have been steadily growing please don't go please don't go are you going away with no word of farewell will there be a trace left behind. Well, I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind. You know, that was the last thing on my mind. As we walk on, my thoughts keep a tongue. Underneath our feet the subways are rumbling Underground, underground Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better As I lie here in my bed in the morning Without you, without you Each song in my breast dies a morning Without you, without you Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind. You know, that was the last thing on my mind. That was the last thing on my mind. All right. Last thing on my mind. Beautiful art. Very beautiful. All right, Myra. Myra and your daughter, right? And your daughter. It's Myra, okay. Myra and Carrie. Okay, so we, we asked to end because what we'd like to do is a medley of lullabies. I started singing to my kids from the time, well, actually, even before they were born, when they were in utero. Um, and my, those of you who have been at the Jerusalem um, open mics have heard us sing as a family. Tonight's just Kiri and I. Um, and Richard's here in the background. Richard's been watching as well. And he's, um, he's going to join whenever he can. But Kiri and I are going to do this, um, this little medley. Okay, ready? Stay awake, don't rest your head, don't lie down upon your bed, while the moon drifts in the skies, stay awake, don't close your eyes, though fast asleep though your pillows soft and deep your 
Thank you. 